Good afternoon, greetings once again from Hydro Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So here we have the 2024 Coles Field Expedition Ural that we're in the process of finishing up. I uh, got her all put together and getting ready to start putting some accessories, final accessories on it. And I know you guys had heard me mention in the previous video about how we thought the yellow valve cover on the inside just didn't quite fit the scheme. So why did I say that? Well, standing here looking at this unit, we see our paint line goes there, goes up across our gas tank, and then of course picks up our engine valve cover there before we disappear into outer space. So our thought is that that yellow valve cover is kind of out of the way shouldn't be yellow it should be black to match the engine simply because of the way the paint line goes with the yellow front fender and the yellow line going across and somebody's gonna say but uh it has a black fender and it has a yellow luggage rack out there and it has yellow luggage rack back there and it has two yellow grab handles well yeah uh but that stuff kind of fits because when you're looking back here, we're blacked out, black seat. Pardon my ugly clipboard there. We were going through checking everything off. And then, of course, black tire, black rear bumper kind of fits there. And then if we come around from this angle, kind of fits as well. And then we'll go over here on this side and we'll look. Coming back this way. We pick up our yellow valve cover. We see through the side right there. We do see our yellow paint on the front of the sidecar. But coming up and across, and then we pick up our paint line there. And if I stand back this angle here, we see how we have the line going right across the gas tank, right across the nose of the sidecar. Pardon the shakiness of the camera as I bump the mirror. The valve cover to us just appears that it's out of place. So what are we gonna do? Yes, pulled one off the shelf, black valve cover. We're going to swap it out, and we'll show you what it looks like. One moment. Alrighty. There's our valve cover. Now you see. I don't know, somebody's not going to agree, but that's fine. We think it looks better with it being black. Doesn't detract from the look of the motorcycle. That way your attention's drawn to the sidecar. And then that way when you look at it this way, your attention's drawn to the sheet metal parts, the painted line going across. You don't see that ugly yellow valve cover down there in the middle that detracts from the overall appearance and the overall lines of the motorcycle. Somebody's going to say, ah, but that doesn't look right. Your attention goes here, here, there. Gas tank. Yeah. Looks better, I think. Comment down below what you guys think uh, now that we've got her finished, uh, the way she looks. I know everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but uh, we kind of like it this way. Uh, it's kind of like when they had the uh, retro style valve covers where you had the piece here and the piece here and you had the center that was kind of back in. Um, they called them butt heads, I think. Uh, but anyway... We had a lot of customers that would put one of those on the left side, but not put it on the right side, simply because there was really no reason to decorate up down there in the inside. So, so we're in the process of uh, figuring out which accessories we have and which accessories we're missing. Uh, we know we're missing nitron shocks. We know we're missing our LED headlight. Um, we're also missing, supposed to have a sidecar windscreen. 
There's the sidecar windscreen glazing that came in. There's the windshield, uh, but it doesn't have any frame for the sidecar windscreen. Yeah, we've got plenty on our shelf, but we paid for one with the bike, so we're supposed to be supplied one. Uh, there's the headlight uh, guard. That stuff will get put on. Uh, we'll probably do that next week. Uh, the other thing we'll probably do is we're probably going to take some photos of it the way it is, uh, and then we'll take some more photos after we've added the accessories to it. And a few notes uh, during assembly, you know, if you guys have bought a bike from somebody else that didn't come from our dealership uh, on the newer models, uh, things you may want to go back and check, uh, common things that are left loose, these top and or bottom can be left loose. Um, a lot of dealers forget to tighten this clamp down. This is a new design from last year. Uh, they forget to tighten these up. Uh, the other thing a lot of dealers forget to do is they forget to fold the cotter pin around. Uh, we always fold both sides around. That way your pin doesn't hop out. We've sold a number of these clevis units over the years where customers have lost a pin and whatnot. Yes, I dripped oil on the floor when I swapped the valve cover so it's not leaking. Of course, the valve covers will be back off when the unit has its first service at 300 miles where it will get a head torque and valve adjustment. Same thing on the front as far as uh, making sure that the bottom and the top are both tight. Common things that are left loose. Uh, also, sometimes we've seen the steering damper bolts be left loose. We've seen that be left loose. Um, and then underneath the sidecar, the rubber snowmen that get installed. You see down there, those bolts sometimes, they'll get left loose. So we'll go through and wipe it down, get it ready to go. As always, guys, really appreciate you watching. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Hindle Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Hopefully we see you next week, Dennis.